Alright, so welcome back to the AI Automation Agency Challenge or the AI Challenge, the 30 day AI Challenge. And today, on day two, we'll be building something a little bit more complex than day one, but it's still a chatbot as well. So, this is basically a nutritionist slash workout planner. This is specifically for gyms by the way uh it's a gym ai chatbot so which is basically going to be used in gym to assign um most it's more like a personal trainer to uh any gym member so it basically just follows up on a daily with the client it comes up with a work plan if also act as a nutritionist for them so basically what this chatbot really does, I'm going to show you a template. It's uh, like I said, it's an AI nutritionist slash workout plan. So basically, what it does is gets inputs from the user to choose what kind of type you want, whether it's a working plan or it's a nutrition plan. If you choose, if you get if you do choose the nutrition nutrition plan, you can see it takes you down this you know nutrition path where it's at, where where it asks you different questions. And when you choose the workout plan, it also takes you to another workout plan, another route, which is connected to the workout plan. So I'm going to be explaining this obviously. I can't really go into detail on how to build it. If you really want me to see or if you really want to, if you really want to see a video of me building this uh, fully, just leave a comment. Just leave a comment down below, and I'll hope on it, and I'll and I'll build it as well. Probably like after the thirty day challenge. So, so we can see here in the first step. Literally, this is once. This is once. This is. This is the work. This is the welcoming message. So you can see here, I'm a personal fitness trainer or personal fitness coach. What would you like me to help you with today? So this is basically a personal fitness coach for you as an individual, and you get to choose whether you want a nutrition plan or you work or or you, you want a nutrition plan or you want to work. Or you want the workout plan, or you want the workout plan. So basically, um, we're going to go into this. Obviously, it's the text. Text. Um, you can add an image. That this is just the image I got from free. This is just an image I got from a platform called FreePick, where it's a platform where you can get free images. For those of you, for those of you who may not know, and. You know, it says I'm a personal trainer. What would you like me to help you with today? So we have buttons here. The first button is the workout plan and the nutrition plan. So whichever the user chooses, that's the one it's going to route them to. So let's say a workout plan. Now, for now, we'll just go with the workout plan. So with the workout plan, once you choose, obviously it gives you a response. Uh, you go up here. Uh, it asks for your email as well captures the email it goes up here so now the whole purpose of it um, the whole so now the whole purpose of it capturing your email is basically for in as much as it's for data for the gym obviously but at the same time is for it to actually send you the workout plan immediately after it's done so every single time uh, it creates a new plan for you or it creates the plan for you it's obviously going to forward it to you via email so it does it does need it. so that's how it actually gets the email you can see here gender male female I'm going to pick it asks for the height as well so this is just basically text and capturing text and capturing 
it takes you ask a question it captures it takes you ask another question you ask another question it captures then ask for the weight as well ask for the weight as well how as for the age as well it captures that as well and then one another another key factor that i would like to note out here are these um, what are they called? Uh, and are uh, these set variables so basically these set variables uh, literally get the information from the user that they input and adds them as values or numbers into it basically at the, basically at telling the AI to say for for this input get this number no for yeah, basically telling so this is basically giving an instruction to the AI to say for this question you've asked get this input as a digit and put it as a number as a height number so it's basically going to get it's basically going to get the digit as well as the required um what's the word so what so required uh symbol no required yeah the required representation god representation for wait symbol Yeah, for the yeah required representation for the for required representation for the value as well that will be inputted. So you can see here as well on the second one it says set weight to the weight number. You can see here it says set eight set set age number to weight number. And something a little bit different set age number to weight number so basically it, it goes on it talks about it goes on it it asks you it goes on ask you about um, what level what level would you like is it competitive um, pro intermediate so it depends on the answers that you give. It's still going to uh, route you to this. So depending on the uh, depending on the answers that you give, it's going to take you to this place. Uh, you move all the way up to here. Move all the way. We move all the way up to here where it asks you. Uh, where about are you from? Where do you live? Actually, so now here, this is an interesting point. So here, this is where you're prompting the AI to respond as a fitness assistant. To all, you're basically telling it, you're basically telling it to say, get all the inputs you have, or get all the information you've gathered from this user. And then as an AI fitness assistant, create a working plan for them using, so this is using the AI knowledge, this is using the, yeah, this is using the response AI knowledge. So you're basically telling it to say, but this is a very specific prompt. If you would like this prompt as well, I can send it over. I can send it over. So the basic... Yeah, so yeah, so you're yeah, basically telling the AI to say capture all the information, 
translate it and respond translate it and respond as if you were a fitness assistant so basically we can read through it says uh, you're a fitness assistant and you should give the user a work plan based on their data and note that this is just some of the things depending if they chose the pro feature if they chose the intermediate feature if they chose the beginner feature it's obviously going to work along those it's obviously going to work along those lines as well so basically that's that then obviously what obviously once it gives a response it follows up with a question if they had if 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 the user have if if the user has any response to that then obviously here if they do if if they do have if they do have a response this obviously is going to route them to here which 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 basically would ask them what it's obviously going to route them to here which will basically ask them what the problem is uh it will capture the problem and it will it will capture the problem and then here as well we're using ai to respond to the we're using ai to respond to the captured information that the user may have or in this case the work in this case the question to the workout plan so basically the ai will respond uh in accordance to all the data and all the information that he has and we'll loot it back immediately immediately and we'll do it. so this is an interesting part this is kind of like a loop i don't know if you can like notice it it's like uh, every single time they ask a question it answers it asks it asks if they have another question which it which it it asks if they have another question and if and if they say yes which then it loots them back to here and then they ask the question and they ask so this is kind of like a loop so then if they do say no it brings them down to this part where now Yeah, it brings them down. It brings them back to this part, to where now, if they do have an email, you can send the whole workout plan to their email, and then they will receive that email and then view the and be able to view the entire workout plan. So this is for the workout plan. We we'll, we we'll quickly go to the nutrition plan as well. Go through it real fast. So it's basically the same concept, but then it's just twisted a bit because it's the nutrition plan. So if the user comes to here, obviously um, nutrition, uh, great, how can I help? Because here you select the gender. So it's basically just the same thing, except it's just flipped. And then this time you, you have it asking for the weight, the age, uh, do you have any allergies, this is, do you have any allergies, this is just a unique one you can add in, you can add in more specific questions if you feel like they are necessary to ask or if you feel, if you feel they are necessary to be asked in this state, but then just for this build I added in this one so we have as well it captures the allergies so we have this prompt as well which is basically almost similar to that one except almost similar to the previous one except this one is about a nutrition assistant and the first one was about fitness assistant so basically you get all the information and you ask the you get all the information and the ai will respond in that manner of in that manner in which you've prompted the script in the manner in which you've given it 
the script to follow basically if that makes sense so so we come back here again did you have any questions if they say yes it loops them back to this place if they have any more questions it loops them back to this place another loop you can see it comes from here they have questions comes here the questions get and their question get their question gets answered then it brings them to here where the AI responds if they have if they if they have another question if they have the same question it takes them back to here if they don't have any more questions uh, you post you post it back to their email so basically this is the whole gym um, AI built this is what it looks this is what it looks like from from um, a far view or like from a long distance view from from a, from a higher overview actually from a from a higher overview actually this looks more complex but then once you start building it step by step once you start adding all the things together it's actually not really all that complex but then you get to understand it even more it's just a little it's just the little things that you make and the little things that you change so for context for so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to try and run it so that we get um, a better insight on how it actually works so we can run it here Wait a second. 